Hello guys, welcome back to another Trail Makers video. Today I am joined here by Raisin Inc. and we are doing the top five exploits and glitches in Trail Makers. Hello everyone. Yeah, this is one of my new buddies. We'll be making videos together shortly and collabing a lot. And uh, we'll, should we just start from number five and work our way down? Yeah. yeah. Yep, we'll just start with five. Okay, so here at number five we have one of the most OG and one of my favorite glitches. Uh, it's ranked pretty low on the list because it's an old one, but it's a gold one. The hover pad glitch. Um, so basically, if you put a blocks on top of hover pads and put them upside down, and it just propels you forward. And for some reason this works, you see I've got no engine on this thing, I'm just going zoom. <laughs> so let me just show you this build here, which is like a ton of hover pads. And look at the speed you can get with the downforce it makes it's incredible look bro just broke the sound barrier no way let's go yeah that took like two seconds <laughs> with this glitch you can also use it to make wall climbers so it creates that much downforce uh, you can climb up vertical cliffs and stuff i just gotta get back to raisin here okay moving on to number four here we have the zero drag glitch Basically with this build you can remove drag from all of your builds by using detachable blocks I'll just show you a quick example in the build mode. So as you can see the aerodynamics here uh, You get aerodynamics on your builds obviously, but if you add detachable blocks and blocks that um, turn into scrap in the configure mode uh, The drag will just disappear on your build. So I'll show you now we're doing a top speed of Let's see, this goes 75, 70, 80. This is actually pretty quick by itself. Yeah, so we're doing about 85 miles per hour. And let me show you with the drag. So I take off the detachable blocks. And now that we have no drag on the front, we are going 10 times more faster, bro. We, we just surpassed 100 miles per hour. So yeah, that's a really good one, especially for aircraft. Okay, at number three, we have a personal favorite of mine because I discovered this one and I'm pretty happy about this. I've had a lot of positive feedback in the community about finding this glitch. And this is the RC glitch, where you can essentially remote control your build from anywhere just by using a seat. Yeah, so this just uses XOR logic gates and uh, it tricks the seat to thinking you're in the other seat. It's, it's a really neat glitch. You can make some really cool builds with this. I think what they should do, trail makers should add a camera block, which would be super neat. So we'll be able to see our RC, RC builds go, you know, out of the render distance and have like a camera block, like scout vehicles. Imagine raising. Yeah, that would be insane. Just being able to build like a uh, like a mobile camera, or being able to have something that would like alter your view. It just make uh, making every build easier because then you wouldn't have to take camera angles into consideration. Yeah, yeah that'd be really nice. Yeah, uh, if you want to know how to do this glitch, I made a video I think a year back. If you want to see the the RC video, how to make an RC remote control vehicle, uh, the link is in the description. Uh, here we have number two, and this is the hinge glitch. So I'll let Raisin Inc. show us the hinge glitch. Okay, so the basic concept of a hinge glitch is to merge different blocks into each other using hinges. So you can see here this red block and this gray block would normally not be able to pass through each other. But because they are set to a hinge, you are able to just pass them right through. Um, but it allows you to get some really interesting angles and uh, things on your build that normally you wouldn't be able to do without them. Yeah, so you could use a sensor and activate the hinges constantly, uh, like a distance sensor facing into a build, and then you could make some really nice shapes. Say you wanted to make some swept back wings on a fighter jet or anything, and you just can't get the shape right, just use some hinges and a distance sensor, or any kind of sensor really, as long as they stay on. And uh, yeah, you can just shape your builds customly using hinges. Number one, we have a very similar glitch to the hinge glitch, the hinge exploit which is this is piston meshing. So when you put the piston through a block, so I'll let Raisin demonstrate here. So you can see the uh, the two by one wedges on the front of the creation are passing straight through the red blocks. And that is due to the piston just simply pulling them through. They end up not having a collision for whatever reason. 
but once again, it allows you to get some really interesting placement of the blocks. You can like half half merge the wedges through the blocks. You can just fully pull them all the way through and have like one by one by one hinges or, or uh, slope pieces rather. And uh, yeah, it just allows for a lot of very interesting things as shown by uh, using Spitfire here. Yeah, so this is a build example here where I've used uh, hinge glitching and piston glitching. So as you can see, the, the weapons here, they glitch into the wings, so everything's nice and compact. So these pistons here under the wings, they glitch the guns, the weapons inside the wings. And here's the hinges here. So there's a hinge here and a hinge up here which basically make the blocks go in to make a really nice smooth shape, really nice finish, and it looks super neat, bro. And the reason we have placed the piston glitch at number one is because of piston glitching guns, bro. So I'm gonna show a little example here. Let me pull out a weapon. Yeah, so as, as you can see, this thing is piston glitched. So I basically glitched double the amount of weapons inside each other and boy does it make your weapons powerful bruh look at this unstoppable so this is the reason why we've ranked piston glitching at number one because it's most effective on weaponry yeah it, it's very it's very good for saving space while maintaining the fire rate of a larger weapon it allows you to once again as he said piston glitch guns into themselves and then uh, you just offset the timing of the of the guns themselves, and then they fire at just the same rate as they would, even though they are taking up less space. Well, guys, this has been the top five glitches and exploits in Trail Makers. Uh, I think the uh, the RC, the Zero Drag, and the Hover Pad glitch—they're more kind of glitches, but uh, the number one and number two—they're more of exploits because uh, they're really good. They're the, the ones we mainly use on our builds to make our builds look really nice and super compact. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to Raisin Inc's channel. He just started YouTube. He's one of my friends, one of my pals. Let's get him to uh, a higher subscriber count. He's just started. He's making some shorts right now, but you're going to hopefully make your first big video soon, yeah? Yep, I've got a uh, video that is in the works. I'm going to be showing off uh, like the top 10 best build like ideas or concepts that you can do um, either to make your builds better or just ideas that you can use uh, to make new builds. Yeah, so definitely check out his channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Thank you guys for watching and peace. Goodbye.